Okay, so for this problem, payments are made to an account at a continuous rate of uh, this measure where zero is less than or equal to T, less than 10, interest is credited at a force of interest of this. After time 10, the account is worth 20 pounds. Okay. Well, the first thing that we would have to do is that we need to say that we need to set up an, an accumulation uh, factor of what is happening with the force of interest here. So we'll set up the accumulation function as base e to the zero to t of one over eight plus t t. Now let's solve for this integral. So u is eight plus t. So du must be uh, one times uh, dt, du, right? So one over u, so that means that this would become ln u. So then it would be ln eight plus t, which in turn would be Plug in T, it'll be ln 8 plus T minus ln 8. Combine them together. Then make the base E. Uh, based on logarithm functions, when we ever see a case like this, we just bring down the whole logarithm within. So. Uh, basically, the accumulation function just equals 8 plus t over 8. Now, we need to set up an accumulation factor based on the continuous rate of 8k plus tk. So let's first uh, erase these. Okay. So we have to set up a second equation where this part is included so we could find what k is to, right? So we need to set up the accumulation factor, which occurs when we get the time later of at of 10 over what was occurring in the beginning. Now, if we were to input 10 in here, we would get 18 out of 8 over 8 plus t over 8. Uh, we could get rid of the 8 here, and we're left with 18 over uh, 8 plus 8. Sorry. Now, we're going to have to put the continuous rate with it. Uh, we also will have to take out the k. So you're only left with 8 plus t. Then we could also cross out 8 plus t here. And then we're left with another integral from um, 0 to 10. Because at time 10, the count is finally worth 20,000. So we solve this integral of 18 to become 18t. 
we input 10 and 0, so 0 just makes it 0, so we input 10. This becomes 180. We multiply it by k, set it equal to 20,000. Then we divide 180 by both sides, and then we get 111.11, which is a. Okay.